Hi guys, I'm Shay Wow. Welcome to this channel, welcome to this world. On this channel, I talk about spiritual things and the city of New Orleans and anything else that comes to my life path intuitive, a loving mind. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about how you can be safe while visiting the city of New Orleans. So a lot of you guys have been really liking and requesting videos, more videos about New Orleans. Uh, so I just decided to give you guys this video. You probably clicked on this video if you are contemplating moving here or just you just want to visit the city of New Orleans or you just love New Orleans. Either way it goes. So disclaimer, not disclaimer, but like, look, if y'all hear some background noise, I live in the ghetto. Like, I can't help, you know, I try to record early in the day. It's 10 o'clock right now and people are outside making loud noises. So if you can hear that, I apologize in advance for it, okay? So the first tip I'm going to give you on how to be safe in the city of New Orleans is this use your discernment use your discretion okay be vigilant be vigilant don't be coming down here thinking you in your little small town that you used to and everything is okay and it's safe or whatever uh looking at your phone not being aware of your surroundings or the company that you keep can lead you into trouble i'm just gonna say this ever since covid 19 has uh hit New Orleans or just the whole entire world, things have definitely been different. Crime rates have gone up, gone up, uh, increased. Crime rates have increased, excuse me. So of course that's gonna happen if you're living in a city like New Orleans. If people can't get jobs, they can't eat, they can't provide for their family. So they start doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys tips on that. So that's the first thing you want to do. You want to make sure that you are vigilant, okay? Aware of your surroundings. Don't come down here doing thoughtless, stupid things. So um, I have my little notepad. Let me read from that. I'm a professional at this. So use your common sense, okay? If you feel like somebody, you know, is jipping you off or something like that, or if you feel like or maybe you ran to somebody, a local or whatever, and they say they got some tickets to a show, that the tickets to the show were half off, like, come on. Use your discretion about things um, and just keep things simple, okay? If you are a female traveling alone, even more so, don't go out at night. Uh, if you do, <laughs> I would carry a weapon with me. You can carry uh, a pepper spray, you know, uh, a knife like I would carry those things with me and your phone is going to be your number one protection especially if you have an iPhone I don't really know anything about other phones or whatever but I know with the iPhones the Apple phones that there's a um, where you can send out a SOS alert on your phone so you know your phone is gonna be your best 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 safety or one of your essential safety that you want to travel with for sure make sure it's charged and uh, also bring your battery, um, a reusable battery pack. You need that with you because sometimes phones go dead as long with USB. You don't want to be out stranded without your phone, okay? <laughs> you can call 911. You can call yourself an Uber or Lyft if you are in a situation, okay? Uh, internet basically is your guide when you're here or when you're traveling anywhere for that matter, okay? So stay in public areas. I know I talked about a little bit earlier about how like if you're a female, you shouldn't travel alone. Or if you do, you know, take proper precaution. It's better to travel in groups. If you can't do that, I understand, you know, with this whole COVID-19 thing, you don't want to like be around people. I totally get that. So just be careful if you can travel in groups. Uh, for females, they recommend, I think three females if you want to be traveling. At least three of you guys can probably overpower a man or whoever is trying to do you harm or whatever. So men, uh, you probably are fine if you're traveling along um, in the regard of like somebody trying to attack you or whatever. So a lot of times people come to New Orleans, they want to visit the French Quarter. The French Quarter is a number one target, okay, for scammers and, <clears throat> and thieves and criminals. Uh, because they know that that spot is very popularized with tourists, people who are not from New Orleans, period, okay? I even went down on Bourbon one time and something happened to me. But what happened was I had an Apple Watch on, okay? And me and my friend, we decided to go walk on Bourbon because we were bored one day. And this is something I never, ever, rarely ever do because 
you know, when you're local, everything just seems overrated and you don't really care too much for the things that people visit New Orleans for. That's just, just how it is. Y'all know what I mean, right? I hope, I hope you do, okay? So, hey, where was I? So I was walking out bourbon and the next thing you know, I looked at my watch, trying to see what time it was. My watch was gone. Like somebody must have bumped into me or whatever and they, they just got me up out my watch and I had just like bought my Apple watch and I couldn't like put on, a, I didn't have the Apple, what, what do you call that? Find my phone thing. I didn't have it set up because I just bought it. <laughs> so I'm going to recommend that for you guys. If you have an Apple iPhone or whatever, you want to keep your find my phone feature on, especially when you're going out because you can find your phone if someone has it. I couldn't log in. It was just I was devastated, but I ended up buying another one anyway. So hopefully who took it, you needed it like for some money or whatever. You didn't take it because you wanted to. I don't know. I just wish them the best, okay? Because what goes around comes around. Anyway, so that's another tip. Have your Find My Phone on if you are with Apple. And I don't know if any Android phones have that those type of features too, but I would put that on if I were you visiting New Orleans. Well, right now, Burrow Street is not as busy as it would normally be um before you know after you know, because of covid and everything but uh still <laughs> people are even more so like looking for schemes and and gimmicks and just looking for targets even more so because a lot of people are unemployed okay so we want to be mindful of that all right let's go to the next tip let's go to the next tip something that's like probably you probably never ever think about is to wear anti-death bags um course as technology advanced you know you you can get gypped off like your whole identity can be stolen in a matter of seconds so they have these anti-theft bags i i think it's called r the acronyms are r-t-i-f and i'm not sure what that stands for <laughs> i can't remember but i'll leave it on the screen guys and that what that does is protect your credit card if you have the the srs i believe <laughs> don't quote me on that if you have like one of those cards where you can just like wave uh your credit card to, to check out you probably definitely most likely need anti-theft um bags or wallets or whatever i have a wallet that's anti-theft uh supposedly protects me against those type of things of happening uh you probably won't have to worry about that in like small towns or whatever but like if you're in a metropolitan type of area that's overpopulated like los angeles or you know new york or whatever you probably want to invest in those type of bags okay small thing but i would do it safe to be sorry ready to be safe and sorry um that brings me to the next point if you're gonna be checking into a hotel um i would actually i would be safe in a way that i would like carry a locker or some type of safe with me to keep my belongings in um like you know like your Apple phone, Apple watch, or something that's valuable, like your laptop or whatever. I'm not saying that people are going to steal your, break into your hotel room, but our, our housekeeper is going to steal your stuff, but you better be safe than sorry. And I've heard some stories. <laughs> I've heard some stories. So this is New Orleans. And that's all I'm going to We get a lot of people to come here. So you did not only you have to worry about like natives but like people who are not from here as well so it's just just want you guys to be safe out there i don't want like things to happen to you like uh just have what well, identity uh somebody had this happened to one of my co-workers her identity was stolen by using her card at the gas station you don't know like guess what i'm saying like you have to be careful the one is like People who get come in and out of this city like all the time. You don't know where they're from or where they're about. So just be careful in that regard too. Just think, be smart. Don't leave money and cash hanging around or your credit card, something valuable hanging around, you know, when you're checking into the hotels or Airbnbs because you don't know, you just don't know. All right, so uh, let's see. When you're traveling with your bags and purses or whatever, you want to keep that close to you. Um, it's also another story I got to tell you guys. I actually got my wallet stolen from me. I was on the bus, okay, and I had a purse. The purse had like zippers. I didn't zip it up at that time. Uh, the bus was overcrowded and the person went in my bag. I felt the person bump me, but I didn't know, it was a woman too. I didn't know that she went in my bag and took my wallet. So luckily I didn't have my social. 
security card on me or anything like that because that's the, that type of stuff you should keep at home fyi unless you're down here for an interview or a job or something like that i would keep my social security card and my birth certificate and all that type of things like at home or at the hotel where you're staying at in a safe just to be you know careful um also you definitely want to uh, have your id with you of course and nowadays there's like things like a uh, virtual or application wallet like we have LA wallet in Louisiana and you can do it that way um, that way you don't have to worry about losing the physical ID uh, yeah so <laughs> let's go to the next thing so when you're so when you um like riding public transportation uh, Uber or whatever just make sure you have your wallet and every all your possessions with you so that nobody takes it or whatever, especially if you're sharing an Uber drive or whatever, just keep it, keep your belongings close to you and really keep your distance, um, distance from anybody six feet. That's what they recommend. You know, don't let no people, don't let nobody get close to you, you know, in regards of COVID-19 and also just your own safety. Uh, okay, so far as drinking, how to be safe when drinking. These are things that we learn in grade school, yeah, in high school, whatever, but not high school, people don't drink. People do drink in high school, first of all, thank you. So, some things that you can keep yourself with is like you don't drink. Bring your drinks to your hotel room where you, if you're gonna pass out, wherever you have, you feel safe, wherever you feel safe and comfortable at um, drinking. If you wanna, like some, sometimes drinks hit you, you know, and you, you don't feel it. It happens to me all the time. Be sure you're in a position to handle yourself or you're around or surrounded by people who you can trust or whatever. I would recommend, you know, people to just, you know, get one drink while they're out, but then like go to their hotel or maybe the hotel lobby or whatever and then drink, you know, and once again, you don't let people get too close to your drink because people can slip you stuff just out of spite, just because it's New Orleans, just because people are crazy, just because people are bored. I don't know why people would do stuff like that, but you know, they great job, all that type of stuff. You want to definitely be mindful of not drinking too much, especially as a woman. Uh, yeah because i've heard some stories so um i know a lot of people like to drink on bourbon street and all of that if you're in a crowd like of like six or more people you're good because you know your buddy got you so don't worry me you know worry about that too much but if you're alone you definitely gotta be mindful of that or if you're, if you're females like your group of females you gotta be mindful of that as well because people will take advantage of you and don't feel nothing in their heart don't have no type of morals about it at all okay so just be careful get drunk but just 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 try to, to be careful okay um, see. oh yeah another thing like i know some people are just i don't know why people do this but look if you're traveling and you you posting stuff on your social media as you're at that same location as you're posting like i just don't feel like that's smart like telling people where you are Oh, I'm in New Orleans, yada, yada, I'm here at this particular time. It's not really a precaution that you can take in New Orleans, but like a precaution that you can take back at your house. Because if you let people know where you are, when you are there, it's probably not a safety thing. It's probably something that you should just wait to post those pictures. Like I was in New Orleans last week, whatever. Do that. Don't post or share your location on social media. It's just common sense, but people still do it for some reason. All right, so in New Orleans, we have like a large population of homeless people. And uh, yeah, that's just what it is. And sometimes you may wanna feel, you know, like you wanna give some money to one person or whatever it is, you may feel sorry for them. And uh, I would recommend you to carry cash for that. Or if you have your spending money and cash in one area and have your money that you wanna give to somebody else or a homeless person or whatever, in another area because if you if they see your stash you never know who sees your stash you don't know if the homeless person is faking or the homeless person might attack you or whatever just just be safe in that regard or you never who's watching you give pulling out a stash of money in the world you just don't want to do that you just want to have two stash one for your personal spending and the other one is for like if you want to give away to somebody or give somebody a tip or whatever you should have those type those that money separate from the other wherever you keep the other money at. Okay, this is another tip. It's probably like, you probably don't need to do it, but uh, if I 
travel somewhere, I want to make sure I blend in with the normal population in terms of my wardrobe. Don't come here wearing cowboy boots and uh, <laughs> what do people wear? Like, just like be off with your wardrobe. Don't, like, I wouldn't do that. You're like, you're letting the world know I'm not from here. That makes you an easy target, right? So, people in New Orleans, we don't wear Mardi Gras shirts unless it's Mardi Gras season, unless it's a time, which is usually in February, January, February, and sometimes March, okay? So, I think it's mostly February. Forgive me, I live under a rock, okay? I don't be knowing nothing half of the time. But anyway, <laughs> if it's a season, we're, walk we're wearing our shirts, okay? Now, we don't walk around wearing Saints shirts all the time, jerseys all the time. We wear them specifically when there's a game or uh, when they win the Super Bowl. We wear it all day when they win the Super Bowl, okay? So, I'm just giving y'all the heads up on that. It's, it's better to blend in. Like, just wear plain t-shirts. You know t-shirts with, with uh, jeans. But if you look like you're not from New Orleans, then trust me, you want to be an easy target for somebody or whatever. So. All right, so one more thing. Well uh you want to stay in public places okay and i know i mentioned that earlier way earlier in the video stay in public places stay if you're meeting somebody on a dating app or whatever make sure it, it be it be make sure it's in a public place okay you don't want to meet somebody in a dark alley somewhere or, or on this at their home or whatever it would be especially if you don't know the person okay you, you want to be careful about that too so um yeah all right so the last tip I'm gonna give you guys on how to be safe in New Orleans is, of course, bring your mask, bring your sanitizer, okay? Bring your gloves if you must, all right? I will pack my vitamin C or emergency or um, your vitamins, you know, because you're traveling, you don't wanna uh, put your immune system at risk. So I would definitely do that. You need a mask wherever you go, okay? And like I said in my last video, Reservations are required for just about almost everything now because of COVID. So, yeah, of course, you want to need your mask. Of course, you want to need your sanitizer. And you guys should have a good time. You should be safe. You have all of that stuff. And uh, along with practicing social distancing, I had somebody in a store yesterday who was really, really close to me. And I was highly uncomfortable with that. Not because of COVID. Not only because of COVID. I'm not really, you know person who's gonna be fearful of stuff especially if I'm gonna work in healthcare I can't be fearful of it but uh he was a little bit too close to me and I was like okay bro like you know social distancing ourselves that's what we're supposed to be doing I'm an introvert and I don't really like people to be in my space period so that's why I was upset <laughs> but you know if people are not abiding by the regulations just just politely tell them oh can you, can you excuse me or whatever if you feel uncomfortable with somebody you know all up in your space another thing I forgot to start about something else sorry guys <sighs> people in New Orleans they're very hospitable so if you get lost or something they help you you know what I mean they'll help you or whatever they'll help you get to where you gotta go you don't have to worry about that. Like I thought I heard in New York, never been. People are just so rude. That's what I've heard. So what I are you, <laughs> if you get lost or something, don't hesitate to ask a local because they know they're willing to help you. Like people are just willing to help down here. That's just how we are. So thank you so much for watching this video. So tell me, have you traveled to New Orleans before? Are you planning? Leave the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment box, okay? Come on. Share this video with people who, you know, want to travel to New Orleans or whatever, you know. Go ahead and do that. Doesn't hurt you. So, let me just mention this one more thing. I know you guys have been telling me, I want to see a video about the different um, areas and different neighborhoods of New Orleans. Like, listen, I'm working on that. And I actually had a setback because my phone... Uh, was updating and it, I had to get everything wiped out to kind of fix my phone and that was just a whole ordeal I don't want to even talk about it. it gives me anxiety not to have my phone so um yeah now I have to kind of use all my footage take all of that footage record all of that footage rather all over again so that video is coming about the different apartments and different neighborhoods in New Orleans so with that being said it's coming, all right? See you guys on the next one.